than you think to find pitch black darkness, so visiting the dark chamber is probably the best option you have. I can't guarantee that you will see anything though, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, sure, sure, now I'm curious. How much is it? Alright, you know what to do, one one Splank coin. There we go, perfect. Thank you. The chamber is behind me. You can stay in as long as you like. Have fun in there. Well, here we go. Into the dark chamber. Okay, it's pretty dark. We are in the bottom left corner. Now, I do not want to be foolish and accidentally walk out of the room. Because I bet you're going to have to pay extra to get back in here. That is a really teeny, teeny tiny room. That is really tiny. Okay, so, um... So, happy with your ticket to the room of darkness? You got ripped off, my friend. I warned you for this. I wonder, would anything happen if we stayed here for too long? Now I'm curious. Ah, uh, bloody hell. You're really going to do this? You're just gonna sit in that room for several minutes? I can't believe we are related. Fine, fine, do whatever you want. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. It's been a few minutes right now. But... I think I'm seeing some kind of blue light, or several teeny tiny blue lights. This might be because of the fact that I'm just staring at a black screen right now, and I'm starting to imagine things, and thus I'm hallucinating, actually, or something is actually happening. I got no clue. No, okay, no, no, okay, I am definitely not imagining this. Oh, ho ho. Okay, that is epic. I have been here for... What is it? Five to eight minutes or something? Wow. Okay, that is cool. That is cool and rewarding. Definitely. Patience is the key to happiness? I gotta admit that I didn't expect this. Got no clue what to do with this uh, all of a sudden, but hey, there is something. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to move. Um, if I start moving, then I think it all resets once again. I mean, the this is looking good enough. Is this what we see on the inside of our eyes? That is growing brighter and brighter. What, what are we seeing here? It's taking more and more shape. Definitely kind of jellyfish or something um yeah i got no clue is it expanding okay great now we have butterflies and yeah we're definitely hallucinating right now what the heck Um, I, yeah, we're really tripping right now. We're definitely tripping right now. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, this game. I got no clue what I'm seeing. I'm I mean, I, I think I see worms and whatnot, but I saw a snail. I saw the, the Alisvator. I see Fnuckers. Oh, God. What the heck is that thing in the middle, though? It's the same creature that keeps appearing in the middle. Oh, I got no clue. I'm afraid to move right now. I'm definitely afraid to move. 
There is one positive to this, though. The entire room has disappeared. It's all hallucinations going on. This was well worth the price tag. I guess. All in all, this is much more than I had originally expected once I walked into that room. I thought it was just gonna be some kind of gag, like, yeah, have, have a very dark room. And nothing happens. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna move right now. And most likely, all of a sudden, everything's gonna disappear. Three, two, one. <laughs> awesome. Definitely awesome. And, did you see anything out of this world? I have no idea what I saw, but it was definitely out of this world. I am a changed worm, definitely. Ah, yay! I told you crazy things are going on in the- Yeah, um, friend, you might really want to have that room checked out. I mean, I have no idea if it can hurt, but it's creepy. Thanks for giving it a chance. Okay, um, I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around. Bye bye. <laughs> My god. Okay, so, um, two more things left to do Jolly Boing, and I want to check out what's beyond. So, do we still have Wonder Splank coins? Yes, we do, I believe. Hello. Hello. Three Wonder Splank coins, please. Okay, sure. Here you go. Okay, throw the Wonder Splank coins. Here you go. Have fun. So, now what? You're next. Oh, do I need to move forward. Okay. Um, ready? Um, mind explaining me what I need to do? Set! Jolly boing. I'm gonna have to boing around this place. Go! Okay. So, 106 was the maximum amount of stuff that people managed. I have no clue if I'm gonna get close to that. Possibly not. But hey, we could try. We're getting somewhere. Well, not, not, not anywhere. I'm completely failing like this. One Wait. Was it 106 or 108? Time's up! Let's see if you broke the record. Please tell me I did. Please don't tell me it was 107. That would be a really mean move if the game did that to you. Let's see if the Splankhawker has some good news for you. Wow! You broke the world record! Party! Everyone, party! Get the streamers, get the confetti, we broke the world record. <laughs> Come here to receive your prize! For your first try, that was awfully close. <laughs> okay, so... What did I just win? Enjoy your prize! Um... Okay. Okay, what the heck did we just get? A Jolly Boying prize. You earned it by breaking the world record. Yeah, but... Okay, but what is it? What does it do? I got some happiness. That is something, but... What the... <laughs> is it just a hat? It's gonna be just a hat, isn't it? I mean, it's a fancy hat, I'll tell you that, but is it useful for something? Possibly not. I got no clue to it. Yeah, it's just a normal hat. Definitely. Oh, hey. Okay. Clicking normally fire stuff. In this case, wearing this Jolly Boy hat, I make saldos. And if I do it on, or standing on top of something? Oh, I, I know, I know. I need to... I think... If I press it at the right time... While I'm bouncing on something... Then I can... Do a double bounce. There we go. That's the... This is just a... Silly hat. Definitely a silly hat. So, one other thing. Most likely there's gonna be some boundary here, but... Or it's gonna be a repeating screen. I want to know if there is something hiding over here. Like, we can't go underwater. Well, a tiny bit, but not fully. Okay, 
So, there's not a repeating screen, but there is something else. Okay, cool. Why would there be a safe bucket here? Okay, we have a few blusters around here. Um, hello? No, nothing? Okay. Greetings! Greetings! Um, I can buy stuff from you. Cool. Take a look at my items. Uh, okay, you sell another casual blusser hat. There's another. Blusser hat, made out of trees located at the Blusser Islands. A wooden sculpture, a bunch of filled Blusser art school projects glued together. <laughs> a Guku hat? According to many worms, these Guku leaves have reminiscent qualities of the good old times. Is that a reference to Zelda? Maybe. A Blusser sculpture makes you look like a Blusser, sort of. And Splankhawker sculpture makes you look like a Splankhawker, sort of. Is it going to be worth it to buy any of that stuff? Possibly not. A bottled film strip. Even though you're eating glass, you're happy enough with the film strip that it restores some of your HP. It's a film strip. <laughs> do I want that? That is expensive though. Uh, and the store artifacts. I have no idea what to do with those store artifacts. So I'm going to go no. We can't talk or anything? No, never mind in that case. Can I talk to this fella? Totally not. Um, normally you can talk to yeah. is there anything I can do here not really um, do these appear like pedestals or something oh god oh god are you um, I can place this on these that means I need stuff here. I need... Really? The bucket is... Wow! What are the odds? That bucket is a key item when it comes to those pedestals. It might also be a case of lots of luck though. I... am not really sure what I need to think of this. Not really sure. I'm just gonna try out the old way like we did it that's also a no and is this also a no no okay so this needs something else but we need the enchanted bucket with the blusser aura um yeah you have nothing to say about the bucket does your friend have something to say about it no okay for something we need the bucket i got no clue I guess we're gonna find out in the future, maybe? No clue. Either way, hi! What are you doing? I'm trying to let the wind cut my bubbles. Okay. Cool, I guess. Have fun. There's so much stuff going on here of which I have no clue whatsoever. Okay, so there are several different islands over here. It makes me wonder what the, what else is out here. Uh, this is a lot of just normal ocean. Have we did we run into a loop right now? We might have run into a loop right now. No, there's more. There is more. Is this an island of some sort? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Hi. Greetings. My name is Bongo. Welcome to the island of whistling. And a very good day to whistle it is. I guess. I mean, no rain. There is sunshine, sort of. So, yeah. Um. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? The art of whistling. A connection between blusser and nature. Or a woman in your case. You look like you could be a decent whistler. Oh, I am an amazing whistler. Sort of, I guess. We use our mouths to create a sound of peace and spirituality. For some blusters, whistling is considered to be an excellent method to reach enlightenment. A connection with nature that is pure and genuine. I can whistle. I can definitely whistle. I had a feeling you could, yes. You look capable. 
But you have not reached your full potential yet. Um. Okay. In that case, teach me, teach me, teach me how to whistle. Even better. Yes, I will teach you. Repeat after me, please. Not quite there yet. Getting there! Getting there! Not bad. Decent. Decent. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. See, we are masters of the whistling, definitely. Note to self, don't let the big guy whistle directly into the microphone. I removed his horrible whistling during the editing. Be glad I did, because I kind of saved everyone's ears. You have now unlocked a blusser secret. Okay. What blusser secret? By whistling, you can extract blus water from the air around you. If you have an item that uses blus water, you can now refill it by whistling. Wait. Wait a minute. Are you telling me? That my bucket, which loses all its water over time as I spray that around, I can I can fill it up by whistling. That is awesome. That is amazing. That means I don't need to depend on water. I can just use this as a permanent weapon. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm curious, is there even more behind here? I mean, this island was pretty far away. So, oh, what is that? What was that? Um, I saw something in the water. What did I just see? Oh, there it is. Okay, this might be a very bad thing. I got no clue what to do. Um, yeah, we are a teeny tiny worm all the way out on the open sea with something large in the water. That can never be, be a good thing. <laughs> oh my god, I just got jump scared by a kid's game. Oh my god, <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> well then, um, I'd say let's return to the shore. And yeah, we finished our adventure in Splank uh, or Wonder Splank. So yeah, I guess it's time we go and find our way to Popo City through the Popo City train or something. Let's hope they accept our ticket, because if they don't, well, then we are in even more trouble. Oh well, I'll see you guys at the train station. Oh god, next train in 47 seconds. We are making it, otherwise we'd have to wait 5 more minutes. Or, no, 8 minutes in this case. Um, yeah, let's us... Uh, we need to... Come on, where is it? Popo chip card allows you to get on the train to Popo City and back. So, okay. Perfect. Yes. Nice. So, um, think, Snavel, anything? Nothing? No. The Popo train is leaving. Oh, this is the Popo train? Okay, uh, so do we get on board? Um, hi. Um, sure. Okay, it's leaving, I think. Okay, it's definitely leaving. We're on our way. Popo City isn't far away now. Let's hope that Carlo won't miss us too much while we try to rebuild our life in the big city. Hey, wait a minute. We didn't pack any bags. Well, so much for that idea of bringing along tons of ice cream.